Hey guys, my name is Critical. Today we are going to be reviewing the Ace 52 CQB Carbine in Battlefield 4. This carbine has a max damage of 34 and a minimum damage of 20. So that means anywhere between 0 and 8 meters is going to do 34 damage. And when you start shooting at an enemy that's further away than 8 meters, it's going to start dropping off on that 34 damage. And at 50 meters, it's going to do 20 damage. So it's not that good at long range. So I would suggest not shooting at an enemy at range. Um, mainly just play domination or team deathmatch because that's where it shines because it's a beast in uh, close quarters combat but if you play in conquest and rush and um, and all that the and abilitation and game modes like that I would suggest not shooting at an enemy that's that range um, because it does not do that good because it has a 650 rounds per minute and with that 20 um, 20 damage at range or dropping off from 34 damage at range you gotta put a little bit more shots into them uh, even though that's not hard it's the da uh, the weak hole that you have to uh, account for when you're shooting at range and it's not that good so it has a 650 rounds per minute and with that three uh, three shot kill in close quarters combat from 0 to 8 meters it's gonna do it's gonna pretty much shine around the battlefield and I would suggest playing domination or team deathmatch because if you play those that's where it shines and you can get some very high kill streaks with this because it's only a three shot kill uh, from anywhere between zero and eight meters so and it has a 26 round magazine where uh, most carbines have a 30 or 31 round magazine this has 26 even though it's not that big difference if you're playing like the close quarters uh, maps or game modes where you only have to do three shots or four, four shots but if you're playing a conquest where you have to deal with the weak coil and the five shot kill um, you might have you might uh, run out of ammo pretty fast that's what I was doing when I was playing conquest this gun this carbine has a re reload a long reload time of 3.1 seconds which means you do not have one in the chamber so that's pretty long but it's not but it's not terrible. This uh, carbine has a short reload time of 2.2 seconds. So if you're in a firefight, I would totally suggest doing the short reload time. Uh, mainly because you only have 26 rounds in the magazine. And try to save you rounds. Because since you only have 26 rounds in the magazine. If you're not playing as a support class. And you don't have the, um, the uh, way you can get more rounds in the magazine. I forget what it's called. But where you can get that. I would suggest um, saving, trying to save your ammo, because you will run out of ammo pretty quick on with this gun. This carbine has a weak coil up of 0 0.45, uh, 0 0.25 left, and 0 0.25 right. So mainly, it's not going to kick at all right or left because it's equal, but it's going to kick up. So that's why you're gonna. You, that's why you're going to uh, have to. Um, that's why you're gonna have trouble shooting at shooting targets at uh, long distances or at range because the, it mostly kicks up. Uh, the attachments I like to use on this gun are uh, actually I like to use no suppressors. I don't like to use suppressors because it slows down and it knocks down the damage and it also slows down the uh, RPM. So I actually like to use a compensator or flash hider or um, what is it called muzzle brake, whichever one. But um, any sight, I would suggest using red dot sight. Uh, since you have that high uh, recoil up, I would suggest not using a zoom scope. But that's on you. Uh, since I'm playing on console, I can't really con like on consoles you can. Uh, on consoles you can't control the recoil as good as you can on c PC so if you're playing on PC you might be able to but, I, but on console I will not suggest it um, I don't use any attachments but if I was I would use tactical flashlight and in most of my uh, clips here I'm using the HD33 or the uh, coyote sight because those are the only two sights I've unlocked for red dot I, since I have not been using the uh, zoom in scopes and um, the underneath attachment I like to use the 
pota potato or stubby grip, whichever one, or angled grip because the angled grip helps you with the weak coil. So you might be able to get away using a zoom scope on console uh, using angled ang while using angled grip. But like I said, well, like I said in previous videos, the attachments and all that in the sights are personal preference. So you can try using my uh, what I use but I can't always promise that it work best for you just try um, different just try different different um, ways like different attachments with different sites and all that and uh, see which one works best for you so yeah guys you can kinda hear my voice I'm a little bit sick so that's why I'm kinda messing up but yeah guys my name is Critical and I'll see you next time